haven't seen you in such a long time. I was so worried. It's okay, I'm all right. They're treating me really well in here. What's happened to you? I made a terrible mistake. I should be punished severely. Excuse me. Where are you going? To beg mercy with a man upstairs. Hold her. I smelled you coming, Clarice. Your sweet ass goodbye. The trouble you're in. I kind of gathered that right around the 50th brainwashing session. Mulder, it's me. Mulder, I'm so scared that I've just got you back and now I'm gonna lose you again. You have no idea how much has already been lost. What I've had to do, our son, Mulder. I gave him up. <gasps> I'm so afraid you could never forget me. I know you had no choice. I just miss both of you so much. God, where have you been? Where have you been hiding? In New Mexico. Looking for the truth. Agent Scully, isn't it true that you and Mulder were lovers and you got pregnant and had his love child? Objection! Thank you. Next witness. Make them a deal, Mulder. I'd rather die, Scully. How can you say that? How can you say that, Mulder, to me? Because this is greater than you or me. You say this is greater than us, and maybe it is. But this is us fighting this fight, Mulder, not you. It's you and me. That's what I'm fighting for, Mulder, you and me. You've got to, Monica, whatever it takes. I need those records for Skinner. I need them for Mulder. I found it. What? What's gonna get you off? The body of Noel Rohr is not Noel Rohr, but that of a man who died of a broken neck, and his body was burned post-mortem. Motion denied. You can't deny it. You're out of order and in contempt of court. You're in contempt. Of evidence proving that Agent Mulder is innocent. Have her removed from the courtroom. She's got evidence. You gotta listen. Order! Remove the defendant from the courtroom. This trial is adjourned. Be right with you, Scully. Yeah, Mulder, but what are we doing here? I hope to bridge you were dead, you chain smoking son of a bitch. I believe that I sat in a motel room like this with you when we first met. You wouldn't tell me. Not because you were afraid or broken, but because you didn't want to accept defeat. I was afraid that it would crush. Your spirit. Why would I accept defeat? Why would I accept it if you won't? Mulder, you say that you failed. But you only fail if you give up. And I know you. You can't give up. So 
what made me follow you. Why I do it all over again? You've always said that you want to believe, but believe in what, Walter? If this is the truth that you've been looking for, then what is left to believe in? I want to believe that the dead are not lost to us as part of something greater than us, greater than any alien force. I want to believe that if we listen to what speaks, it can give us the power to save ourselves. And we believe the same thing. Maybe there's hope.